Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Well, probably going to make some people mad today, but I don't care. That's just how it goes. Uh, starting off this morning's video, the title, I don't think a lot of people got it. I'm not saying that we are in a democracy. I was just quoting directly what Joe Biden says. Uh, I certainly don't think that we're in a democracy or that we're supposed to be in a democracy. It's actually just the opposite. We're supposed to be a republic, a constitutional republic. And I completely get that. But what we have to understand is, is when they say democracy, that it's being under attack and everything. It's not the constitutional republic of the United States. It is the democracy they have created. It's their democracy. And it's not just the left that say that. Uh, virtually all politicians refer to the United States as a democracy because, well, it's their democracy. And so that's what's under attack. And I, like I said this morning, you and I uh, are considered the enemy. You know, when I make all these videos, sometimes I get onto subjects that people just don't like. It makes them feel uncomfortable, makes them squirm a little bit. I'm kind of an opinionated person in that way. There is one topic, though, and I, it's, the, it's the one that I can't understand why, but it's the one topic that gets so many people upset. I get more trolls, I get more hate mail, I get more pushback, and that is the topic of illegal immigration. And yes, I have been talking about it the last few videos because it's important. It's important, and a lot of stuff is happening, and it's moving pretty quickly. And I think it does coincide with the other things that are going on in this world. I understand that there's lots and lots of things going on. I understand that we're on the verge of a war with China, that it appears that China may be gearing up to for an invasion of Taiwan. Maybe. I understand that it looks like there's an escalation coming our way when it comes to Russia and Ukraine. We're sending stuff over there and we're doing things that we know is going to provoke Russia even further. Uh, which will in turn almost force NATO to get more directly involved, which I believe is their objective. Uh, the, the, the market and the economy is, is absolutely horrible. It's absolutely horrible, folks. I don't care what all these people say. Oh, if you look at the numbers, it's great. No, it's not. There are way too many factors showing that it is the worst it's ever been. Beef prices, beef futures are the highest they've ever been in history on record. So you better be planning. It doesn't mean that the beef in the store right now is gonna go up, but come this fall and winter, beef prices are going to skyrocket. I said that several weeks ago because of the information that I was getting then was predicting that this fall and winter that beef prices are gonna skyrocket. And guess what? Futures are up. Oil prices are high, $91, $92, $90 a barrel, uh, looking at probably well over $100 a barrel by the end of this year, I would guess. And that's just all it is, but it's a pretty good one. I understand gas is expensive. I drive a vehicle that gets 9 to 10 miles a gallon. I mean, if I wanted to get worse gas mileage, I'd probably have to buy a semi. So I know I get it. But I also believe that all of this is very tightly interwoven and connected to the fact that the administration that we have is purposefully encouraging and allowing people to come into this country illegally. And not just people come into this country, but people from areas that have a strong intent to do harm when they get here. These people, you can look at the numbers, you can watch the videos. Most of them do not have any kind of love or sympathy for the United States. In fact, that's true with most any of these countries that they are invading, whether it's Italy, France, Germany, United Kingdom. Look up at what's going on in, in Ireland. I mean, it, it's all over, folks. New Zealand, it, it's everywhere. And it's getting worse. And it may hurt some feels, but you know what? I don't care. I don't care. It's not a racial issue. It has nothing to do with the color of their skin. It has everything to do with their character and what their intents are to do here. It also has to do with all of these George Soros and United Nations and World Economic Forum pukes that are encouraging them to come here, that's paying their way to get here. 
so that they can come into this country illegally. There's a, a video, another, there's, all, there's a lot of videos going around lately because a lot of stuff is happening. And I'm gonna show you one here in just a second. I want to make it clear that I did make a mistake in this morning's video. See, I can own up to my mistakes. I said that over the last few days, there have been 2,000 people a day crossing the US border illegally. That is an incorrect number. There have been 2,000 people a day crossing the border in one sector in Arizona every day for the last several days. But if you add up the entire border, it's many thousands of people are crossing the border every day. That number was just in Arizona in one sector of Arizona. I wanna show you this video here. I've edited it down. Um, it is a, <clears throat> appears to be Hispanic, South American, maybe Venezuelan, who knows. Uh, there's a lot of Venezuelans coming up from the border. Um, anyways, he's crossed the border and he's asking a, a Border Patrol agent um, where he can go. Can he go to Chicago? Can he move around in the country now that he's here? And the Border Patrol agent says, yeah, you're a free man. You can go wherever you want. You can do whatever you want to do. You're free. You're free. Watch this. You're free to go to all you want. You're free to Okay, uh, it's no problem uh, if I go to Chicago. Either you want. Okay. This is the mentality of what's going on. I've been talking a lot what's going on over in the, that little island uh, south of Italy that's an Italian-controlled island, or at least it was Italian-controlled. Now they've lost complete control. Um, there have been some videos, and I can't verify their authenticity, uh, but they've been shared around on like TikTok and all those kind of platforms. And I know I'm not on TikTok. But uh, they are these um, Africans that have invaded this island illegally. And they're making videos after they've gotten there and they're posting them. And they're mocking the people there and they're giving them the bird. And they're, you know, very much being kind of vulgar and inappropriate uh, and bragging about it towards the people of the island that they're invading. I want to make it clear what my position is on all of this. We are being invaded. It's that clear. We are in a sort of soft war, uh, a war that most people don't really understand yet, but make no mistake about it. We are in a war, folks. This is an absolute invasion. This is a foreign force coming into the borders of other nations. It is an invasion. I know that some of you say that, oh, we shouldn't talk that way about these poor, innocent, delicate people from other countries. Well, if you like them that much, then why don't you invite them to come over and live at your house? Because that's what New York did. New York used to be a sanctuary state, a sanctuary city. And they said, oh, all of you illegals come to our state and our city. And we welcome you with open arms. And now that there's been over 60,000 pour into that city in just the last few months, there are now uh, liberals in the streets protesting and rioting that they're sick and tired of it and it's destroying their neighborhoods and they want them out and they want it to stop. You see, every country and every city that these problems have happened, no matter whether they're conservative or liberal, the people kind of get tired of it. So just because it hasn't happened to you doesn't mean it won't. And you can have your little lofty, cloudy visions of how good we should be as humans and allow people to just travel wherever they want and commit whatever crimes they want because it's humanity. Uh, I'm telling you, you're wrong. And eventually when it comes to you, you're going to regret it. I mean, open your doors and let several families come live with you if that's how you feel about it. There is no biblical backing to this. Uh, it was quite clear in the Torah, in the Old Testament, uh, that God gave uh, rules on entering and participating and behaving inside the border of Israel. So don't tell me the Bible and all this kind of stuff. Yes, Jesus says love people, but he doesn't say to just let them trample all over you. Everywhere that this has happened, we're watching crime rates drastically increase. We're watching property values drastically decrease. We're watching disease spread. There are now diseases in this country that we haven't seen for decades. And it's mostly being attributed to, well, the massive influx of illegals from third world countries. It's gonna get worse. And the sad thing is, is there's not a whole lot that you and I can do to stop it. I mean, even when certain states like Texas are trying to stand up and Arizona, and try to 
restrict the flow across their state borders and the federal government comes in and tells them they can't and makes them stop, there's not a whole lot that you and I can do. Um, it's different now. If we went down there, there used to be, they used to welcome people to come and volunteer to help on the border. It's not that way anymore. I guarantee you, if you went down there looking like I'm looking right now, you would be the one going to jail and uh, the, the people coming across the border would be giving all kinds of goods and let go. So there's not a whole lot we can do to stop it, but we have to prepare for it because this fight will eventually work its way to us. You cannot have millions and millions of people a year coming into this country and not expect that it's only gonna you know, happen in a certain areas and not come and affect you. It will affect you. You need to be prepared for that. It's going to get to the point in many cities, many more cities, uh, that crime rates will just skyrocket and it'll become too dangerous for many of you to go out on the street or you won't be willing to. You're going to have to change your plans, shop different places, go out and not be alone. Uh, and of course, you need to be stocking up on stuff like this. Uh, you need to be making sure that you have it and that you know how to use it. Because we're watching our nation be destroyed. We're watching our culture die. We're watching our society be polluted. And it's not going to stop. It's not going to stop for a while. It's only going to get worse, even if, even if, and I'm telling you folks, this is such a huge if that I don't believe it, but let's just pretend for a moment. Even if someone different got into office in 2024 and radically changed everything, and you know, someone like that, what's that guy that no one knows his name or can't pronounce it? He says he's going to, going to fire, you know, huge portions of the federal government, even if that kind of stuff happened. The amount of people that's come into this country and that will come into this country between now and then, it's so great that I don't know that stopping it then is going to make any difference. We're watching it happen right before our eyes and we need to get ready for it. We need to understand what this means. This is war. Some of these people are just coming here because they're criminals. Some of them are coming here because they want a better way of life. Many of them are coming here and they have no respect whatsoever for you, this nation, or our laws. They have no intent of assimilating into our system. And many of them are here to specifically wage war on us. Some of them are foreign nationals that are being sent here to do bad things. And some of them, they're just hell-bent on destroying what we have. It's happening. And we have to be aware of it. And I want to encourage you, more than I normally do, to take this serious and to get ready. Yes, all these other things are happening. Digital currencies right on the verge of happening. Uh, the next coffee cough is about ready to happen. Uh, yeah, Hunter Biden, I know, he got indicted on gun charges. And as much as that kind of makes me smile, I also am opposed to any kind of gun regulations. So I don't think he should be charged because I believe the Second Amendment is, well, it just means you have the right to keep and bear arms, any kind of arms. The word arms means armaments, which is a military term for any type of weapons that the military uses. Don't get me going down that rabbit trail. There are a lot of things happening and it's getting worse. This isn't doomsday, this isn't fear porn, this isn't shock and awe, this is just the truth, folks, and we have to be ready for it. We have to start banding together. We have to start training. We have to start stocking up. We have to get out of these places. Do I think that I am so isolated out here in the woods that these bad things aren't gonna happen to me? Of course I don't. I'm not that naive. But I know that there's less of a chance of it happening here. And when it does happen, it most likely won't be quite as concentrated as it would be in a big city. And don't tell me that I'm vulnerable because I'm out here all alone. You have no idea what I have out here. And you have no idea the people around me that we have already planned and what we might do to protect ourselves. So don't tell me that. You can do that too. Any one of you can. That's the whole point of living out here around like-minded people. You need to be stocking up, praying up, and training up. Because dark do days are coming, folks, in every possible way. And with millions and millions of people invading this country every year from some really bad areas on this planet, you think it's going to get any better? Of course not. So start getting serious, getting your houses in order. That's right. You need to be getting prepared mentally, physically, and spiritually because things are about ready to happen and they're not very good. 
Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.